Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's Excel tip is on dynamic charting. If you want to follow along with the tip, go to ExcelExperts.com and then in search the site, just type dynamic charting. And then you will find tip number 74 on dynamic charting, which contains the spreadsheet to download, some screenshots, and uh, lots of other useful Excel tips and training. So what is dynamic charting? So dynamic charting is you add a chart and that's dependent on this data here. And normally when you add a chart, when you add data below, the chart stays exactly the same. A dynamic chart will account for any data added underneath. Let's see how it works. So let's just see it working first. So if I type two here, Notice the whole chart recalibrates and plots one zero so I can add as much data as I like all the way down and it will keep on adding and uh, resizing the chart so how does it do that well the way a way to do this is to create a dynamic range and then as an input for your chart series to use that dynamic range. So if I go insert name define alt ind <coughs> click on this this is my chart range and the chart range is a formula and this formula says offset of this cell here now the offset function is a function that creates a range based out of a start cell which is this one how many cells to go down? So one, so it's starting here. How many columns wide is it? Sorry, how many columns to go down? So zero, so it's there. Um, and then the how many rows the range is. And the rows are the count of everything in column C. Count is a function that counts the numeric values in the column. So notice heading is ignored. So that's very useful. You can type stuff up here and that won't mess up your your function. So this offset function creates a dynamic range that is always equal to that. Or that if there's something down there. Let's just double check all of that. If I type some normal data here, doesn't change. If I type 1 here, it does change. Now, very importantly, on the source data, so right-click, select data, and then this is the series data of your chart. There's something similar in Excel 2003, uh, and the, the idea is exactly the same. In the series, so a series needs a heading and some, some data. So the heading is that. And then, and the data, this is the most important thing. The, the format for this, you can't just type equals chart range because that doesn't work. Let's try that. Doesn't work. You would have thought it would work, but it doesn't. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. You actually need the whole workbook name.xls covered in single quotes and with the exclamation mark for it to work. And there you go. Dynamic charting brought to you by excelexperts.com. Thank you for listening.